The first thing to tell you is you have to deal with the primary sources. I like to tell, ask my students a question in their very first New Testament entry class. I show them something that looks like this. I say, what is this? They raise their hand very eagerly and say, oh, that's the Bible. I say, wrong. Let's try again. What is this? Silence. Somebody tentatively raises their hand and says, um... Well, it looks like it's an English translation of the Bible. I said, right. And guess what? Every translation is already an interpretation. Every translation is already an interpretation. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, something gets lost in translation. Right? Well, that's all the more true when you're dealing with an ancient language, like Koine Greek. And it is crucial to understand the context in which Jesus operated. You cannot understand the Bible just by reading an English translation of it very well. And especially if you're trying to do the Sherlock Holmes thing and get back to the real nub of who the historical Jesus was. You just can't get there from here with nothing but an English Bible in your hand. You need to know context as well as text.